Hi, I'm Spencer from Shared Nurseries and today I'm going to talk about watering trees and I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. The first way is with a soaker hose, the second is with a product called a tree gator, and the third is with a product called a Ross root feeder. The Ross root feeder does double purpose. You can use it to fertilize your tree in the spring and then do deep root watering in the summertime. We often get asked how often and how do we water trees and that's sort of a tough question to answer. Um, the long and short of it is if the tree is newly planted, so within five years, you should water it at least once a week. And during periods of uh, prolonged drought, you should water more often, at least two to three times a week. If the tree is established and it's been in the ground for five plus years, we usually recommend minimal watering maybe once or twice a month, depending on your weather conditions. If there's a lot of drought, it's beneficial for the tree to get a little bit of water but once it's established, minimal water is required. It's difficult to gauge when a tree truly needs water. It's easiest to tell on young trees. Um, young trees will get a little bit of scorching on the edges of the leaves, the tips of the leaves will start to turn brown, and generally the tree looks a little sick. Older, more mature trees typically get a little bit of coppering and bronzing on the leaves, and that's indication of drought. The first product I'm going to talk about today is called a tree gator. Um, this is a product that's gained a lot of popularity. A lot of municipalities like using these to water their trees. Um, essentially what you do is you take this container here, you open up the packaging, you hold it in place around your tree, and there's a little zipper on the back. You zip it up. Underneath this flap, there's actually a little reservoir that you fill with water. Once it's full of water, it does a slow drip irrigation for five to eight hours. Um, you would do this once a week for new plantings and it will slowly irrigate the tree over the course of several hours. Um, this type of product is best used on new trees and new plantings that are five years or younger. The next product we're going to talk about today is the soaker hose. Um, this is a product that's actually quite versatile. You can use a soaker hose to water your vegetable garden, your perennial garden, and your annual flower beds. Um, today though we're going to use it to water a tree. To do this, we actually coil the hose around the center of the tree trunk, working our way out to the edge of the drip line, which is where the tree branches end. We then screw it into our normal hose, and it slowly sweats water through all the seams. And you leave it running for about 45 minutes to an hour once a week. Uh, you can use this on mature trees as well as young trees. The last product we're going to talk about today is called a Ross Root Feeder. This is a really nice versatile tool you can use in your garden. Um, it's best used on mature trees, uh, mature shrubs, and large evergreens. It has multi-purpose functions, so what you can do is you can unscrew this lid here. You can actually insert fertilizer pellets, screw the lid back on, and actually do a deep root fertilizing in the spring. If you don't use this tool for fertilizing, you can actually use this tool to water the root zone of the tree. The best way to use this is to actually insert it into the ground. You want to insert it anywhere between six to eight inches deep, and you want to move it around every 20 minutes to a different part around your tree. A common misconception with trees is that they don't require any water once they're planted, um, but I've shown you three easy ways to water, and I can guarantee you they benefit from being watered regularly. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment below, visit our Facebook page, or any one of our garden centers.